A woman will lie to you with conviction while she's in the midst of an egregious act, while she's in the midst of an offensive act, while she's engaging in deplorable behavior. And she will lie with such conviction, in fact, that she will be upset when you don't believe her lie. Not because you don't understand lying from the truth, but because she believes her mind is so far advanced above yours that if she thinks the lie is good, you have to think the lie is phenomenal. Now, somebody sent me a story on IG where this chick was with a side dude and her man called. Asked her where she was, she lied. He said, it doesn't sound like you are where you say you are. And when you hear the amount of conviction, she denied his claims with, even though he was right on the money. You're going to realize that no matter who you are, no matter what you think about your woman, this could be your woman. Because if we weren't watching this, we'd call this man a beta male simp mangina. You can't trust a woman any further than you can see her. So when you blink your eyes, you can only trust her on the open swing. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now, the reality of the scenario is this. A woman is going to do what she wants to do. We figured this out. We know this. They know this. They don't deny it. We don't deny it. It is what it is. Because as men, we're going to do what we want to do as well. The difference is. A man can lie to his woman. And she can see right through his lie. Because we won't lie with the same conviction. Our lies don't have the same believability. We're just not as good at it. We're not as adept at lying as our women are. Now, when you listen to a scenario like this, man, and you think about the fact that they obviously live together. Just by what's said in the video. It puts you in the mindset of wondering, man, like, is it worth it for any man to put himself in that position these days? I tell you men all the time, man, the only men who are safe. In marriage of the men who've been in marriage for at least 10 years. And not all of them are safe. Look at Dr. Dre. But if you've been married for at least 10, 15, 20 years, then generally you are the safest guys. Your situations have the safest bet of, you know, being true to form, especially if you met your wife young. But let's take a listen to this video, man. We'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. Hey, babe. I'm Sean. Oh, I'm home. You home? Yeah, I'm home. It don't even sound like you're home now. I'm home. What you talking about? Nah. Oh, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. I'm home. Like, what do you want? You sound like you're lying. You sound like you're lying, yo. I'm lying. I'm home. You sound dumb. You really sound dumb. Like, what the fuck? Like, you want to see that? Like, I don't get it. Like, I'm home. Hey, yo, if you really home, then why don't you FaceTime me then? FaceTime you? Like, what you talking about? Like, you know I don't like FaceTime you. Like, give me like 30 minutes. I'm going to get ready. I look crazy. Babe, I look crazy. I look ugly. Like, I don't want to be on FaceTime. I look ugly. I look ugly. I don't... Nobody... Yo. Bro, I'm home. If you don't believe me, get on the call and come home. If you're not going to do that, then shut the fuck up because I'm home and I'm over this. I'm dead ass over this. Now, what's really taking place here, man, is that we hear a woman who is doing everything in her power to convince her man that she is what she says she is. So it's not just the lie she's telling. It's that she really, really wants this man to believe and embrace this lie. Even when he tells her, I don't believe you. She goes off. She snaps on him. Like 
she dare she have the audacity to deny her truth when her truth is nothing but a lie. And you see the side dude over here chilling? You know what he's thinking? Psst, that boy should have never married her. I bet the side dude won't marry her. I bet he won't. And a lot of guys would go for this. A lot of guys would say, well, yeah, you're right, baby. You're right. Yeah, I know you like to look good on, on FaceTime and all that. But if they live together, this man sees her at her worst. What about those days when there's a time in the month and she don't feel like doing nothing? What about those times when she's sick and she can't get her hair done? She don't feel like putting makeup on. She don't feel like doing none of that. It's a cockamamie excuse, but a bunch of you guys would go for that. I want you to listen to this man's reaction. You know why this man is reacting this way? Because he's caught this woman in lies before. Do I know this couple? No. But I know the reaction of a man who's caught this woman in lies before. Whenever you get this emotional response from a woman, when you question whether what she's saying is true or not, you can almost guarantee that the woman is lying. Now I ask you, what man amongst you feels like you can really trust your woman 100%? Now, I know some beta male say, man, Johnny going to come in here and say, what to the BOA? Marriage ain't about trust. It ain't about who you trust. It ain't about who you like. It ain't about none of that, the BOA. Marriage is just about being with the woman and float your boat, the BOA. It don't matter who or what other boat she float. She can float 15 boats. As long as she float your, the BOA. She, your mindset is, you rather have a woman that don't like nobody but you, the BOA. Don't nobody want that, because if she don't want nobody but you, then don't nobody want her by you, the BOA. You ain't got no sin. You ain't got no logic. Always talking about logic. You know what? You're an emotional wreck, the BOA. Unsubscribe. Okay, unsubscribe, sucker, but before you go, let me tell you this. When it comes down to understanding how God intended for these relationships to go, then you know that having a woman who's only into you is the only woman that's worthy of having as a wife. It's the only woman who's worthy of having as even a girlfriend. If your woman is into more men than you, then hey, man, she's just not a woman you're supposed to try to build anything serious with. See, what these guys in society will tell you is that you just have to accept the way women are and then still put them in a position that they don't deserve to be in. No, if we got to accept that no women these days are meant to be wives, then we just won't marry no women. But then these guys turn around and tell you, well, you living in sin if you don't marry a woman. No, nah, you living in sin if you marry a scallywag. You sinning against yourself. See, the real deal is that if you live with a woman, then you stop being the object of her desire. She has to be really, really into you and the situation that you are building with her. And most men don't have that. Here's a man who's living with a woman. And while he's away, this woman is so confident in her lie that she tells him, if you want to see me, just get in your car and come home. She literally told the man that get in your car and come home if you want to see me. I'm not finna FaceTime. I'm not finna do this. We're not finna do this. No, this is over. I'm over this. Listen to the conviction in her voice. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to go back and rewind that part of this video and listen to it with your eyes closed. And listen how convincing she sounds. Now I want you to ask yourself if your woman told you that with such conviction. Would you believe her? And I know many of you men who have women will say yes. Even hypothetically, you men who don't have women will say yes. And then I ask you, well, how do you know your woman wouldn't be in the situation that this woman is in right here? With that type of conviction. She tried to butter him up, call him babe, call him, call him everything. Listen, try to convince the man that he was wrong when he was right the whole time. Let me tell y'all something, man. I don't just make this stuff up. I don't just say these things. He's not the only man who deal with something like this. Man, let me tell y'all something. I ain't bragging about this because it ain't nothing to brag about. It's really something to be ashamed of, but I keep it a buck with y'all. Throughout my life, man, I've been with plenty of women who did this same thing right here. I've had a woman, man, from another state Tell her husband she was going on a girl's trip. Brought her homegirl. What her homegirl married to? Guess what? 
she already knew a dude in my city. So she went and stayed with that dude while this bra came and stayed with me. There is just a part of a woman's psyche that does not appreciate you when she has you to herself. She just doesn't appreciate it. In this particular society, now there may be some women from other countries, there may be, who don't feel the same way because they haven't been totally influenced and, and overrun with this, you know, the societal ills and the societal expectations of Western civilization. But in this country we live in, man, all of the women in this country appreciate you less the more access they have to you. The more parts of you you give a woman access to, the less she appreciates you. The more she knows about you, the less she appreciates you. The more you expose to her, the less she appreciates you because she stops feeling like that these things are gifts in her life and start feeling like these things are her right. Now, this man could possibly be paying all the bills in their home. While she's doing this. He could be one of those guys who paid her student loan debt off. While she's doing this. He could be one of those guys that bought her a car. While she's doing this. He could be one of those guys who let her and her children come and move in with him. While she's doing this. And for all we know, this cat she's in the car with is her baby daddy. Her ex. The guy she's been dealing with even when she married this cat or got with this cat. The guy who just see her whenever he want to see her. And don't have to pay nothing. She could be giving this guy her man's money. Who knows what she's doing? And you can't put anything past her because she'll sit here and lie so fervently about this. She'll sit here and lie with such conviction. She'll be so adamant about proving her lie. That who knows what else she's hiding? Because she's certainly hiding this. You men must understand, man, that you cannot listen to these knuckleheads out here in society that are telling you that being with women in these circumstances is a good idea. You have to take time to gauge a woman's true identity, her true expectations, her true motives. And that takes time. And the last thing you should be doing is getting anywhere, shacking up with a woman. I don't care if she come live in your spot or you come live in hers. Shacking up with a woman is the wrong thing to do, especially if she's not a virgin. It's 2021. You're a fool if you marry a woman who's not a virgin. A woman who's not a virgin is not a wife. Maybe perhaps if she's been with one man and, and, and got put away by that one man, and she's been divorced from one man. Anything above that, she's not situated to be a wife. And this is one of the very few societies where men will marry a woman who has a track record of being with multiple other men throughout her life. I want you men to keep in mind one thing and one thing only. You don't ever know when your woman is telling the truth. Because she's so good at lying that her lies sound like her truth. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.